Hey everyone, welcome back. We're playing some more No Gear Solid 3. Quick load, that's really good. Uh, so, first thing we want to do is speak to Sigint. Yo! You're Snake, aren't you? And you're Sigint? None other. I heard that you're an expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting edge technology. Close. Huh? I am the expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting edge technology. Uh. I'm the guy that designed your trank gun, active sonar, and motion detector. If you want to know anything about weapons or equipment you find in the field, just send me a message and ask. Later. <laughs> just equip one of these items. Sounds like the Cobra unit's members' names came from the specific emotions they each carry into battle. Emotions? Yeah. For unbearable torment, the pain. For true oblivion, the end. For infinite rage, the fury. For absolute terror, the fear. And for unsurpassed bliss, the joy. The joy? It's another name for the boss. Because of the joy she feels in battle, I suppose. Uh. During the war, she had a partner named the Sorrow. Sorrow and Joy. They say there couldn't have been a more perfect pair. Now, I have a feeling that, just a theory, it's just a, my personal theory, that her name, real name is actually Joy. I don't know why I just think that, but. Anyway, let's see what else she says. The Davy Crockett's that the boss took with her when she defected are mortars that fire nuclear warheads. They're named after Davy Crockett, the hero who died defending the Alamo in the Texan War of Independence. Remember the Alamo. That's right. The warheads are equivalent to between 10 and 20 tons of TNT. Every building within 150 yards of the hypocenter is completely obliterated. Mm -hmm. But the warheads the boss had with her were some kind of experimental super bomb. So they're actually even more powerful than that. I don't even want to think about what would happen if she used it again. Snake, you know what you have to do. Yeah, I know. Let's see what he says. See if he, uh. He's a little shocked. Snake, what's up? Why are you naked? I know there's a naked option under uniform that lets you take off the upper part of your uniform. But without a shirt on, your camouflage sucks and your stamina goes down faster. <laughs> you don't get any advantages whatsoever. Sure, there are. <laughs> like what? It feels good. <laughs> Man, you do whatever you want. I will, thanks. Just one question, though. What? Is there a way to take off my pants? <laughs> Say what? <laughs> my pants, can I? Oh, hell no. This box unit is a nut fest. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh. That laugh he does. It's really funny. Active sonar sends out a special type of sound wave whenever you press the left stick. It uses the echo from those waves to calculate and display the position of nearby objects. Unlike the motion detector, it'll show you objects that aren't moving. But because you're blasting out sound waves, there's a risk that the noise will alert enemies and animals to your presence. Be careful about when and where you use it. Yeah, I've heard that one too. <laughs> Did he use the exact same words? Yeah. Man, that guy still lives in the Stone Age. Just the other day, he bought this brand new washing machine and... Sigurd? Uh, talk to you later, Snake. What? Okay, I don't, I don't think I've ever heard that before. Cigar. Snake, you smoking a cigarette? It's not a cigarette. It's a cigar. <laughs> ah, same thing? It's not the same thing. <laughs> Doesn't matter to me. What I want to know is, why'd you take it with you? Because I need it. For what? I can't smoke a cigar if I don't have one, can I? <laughs> so you just wanted to smoke? Yeah. Man, you got problems. Do what you want. Just keep in mind that your life goes down when you're smoking it. 
I've never seen a grenade like that one before. There are two basic types of grenades. Fragmentation grenades, which use shrapnel to kill or maim the target, and explosive grenades, which use the blast from the explosion as the offensive means. But the grenade you've got there isn't either of those. My best guess is that it's meant to knock the enemy out without hurting them. Most likely, it's an entirely new kind of weapon developed exclusively at Groznygrad. I've heard that the SAS is working on a low-impact grenade for training purposes, but I never thought they'd be used in an actual battle. The flash of light that occurs when the grenade explodes is probably produced by magnesium. It's the same stuff that's used in camera flashes. I'm thinking they cut down on killing power by reducing the amount of explosives and made up for it by making the flash and bang so strong that it overwhelms the enemy's senses. I guess you could call it a stun grenade. If I'm going to be stunned, I'd rather it be by a woman. <laughs> Snap out of it. Anyone around when that thing goes off will be laid out. It ought to come in handy when you're trying to storm a room or when you don't want to kill the enemy. Let's move around a bit. It's a bit boring just to stay in one spot. Some fruits here. Oh, off moonlight. Now you can go down that area from the virtuous mission, but there's no way you get up here. Snake, unlike the virtuous mission, this is a night operation. You'll no. be encountering nocturnal animals that you didn't encounter your last mission. Some of them are venomous, like the king cobra, so be careful. If you get bitten by a venomous animal, the poison will spread through your body and rapidly drain your life gauge. If that's the case, Go into the cure screen in Survival Viewer immediately and inject yourself with serum. Got it? So these some of these extra pictures there. I see you caught an Otten frog. The Otten frog is a large, corpulent species of frog. They're known as a delicacy, so it might be worth catching them for food. The Otten frog was originally found only on Amami Oshima in Japan. Frogs usually have four toes on their front legs, but the Otten frog is unique in that it has five. Got it. By the way, you said they were known as a delicacy, right? Right. So that means they must taste pretty good, huh? I guess so. I hear that in Japan, Otten frog sashimi and sukiyaki are popular dishes. Really? Yeah. Japan, huh? That place is starting to sound better and better. <laughs> Snake, King Cobras are making their home in the area you're in now. Nice. The King Cobra is the world's largest venomous snake. Its large size means that it has a lot of venom to inject. One bite is supposedly enough to kill an elephant. And it's extremely vicious as well, so watch out. Sorry? If you get bitten by a King Cobra and injected with venom, your life will start to decrease rapidly. As soon as you're bitten, go into the survival viewer and use Cure to give yourself a serum injection. The King Cobra's diet consists mostly of other snakes. Be careful, or you might end up as its next meal. Got it. So... What? How does it taste? Yep. Ugh. It seems <laughs> you're the one whose diet consists of other snakes. You're making me blush. <laughs> the guide says they taste just fine. Ugh. <laughs> Snake, that area is inhabited by the green tree python. The green tree python isn't venomous, so no need to worry. It's fairly docile, too, so I don't think it's likely to attack you. The green tree python originally comes from Australia and New Zealand. It's a really pretty green color, and it lives... Oh, my God. What's wrong? Snake, what did I just say? They come from Australia and New Zealand. 
No, after that. They're a really pretty green color. <laughs> I thought so. What was I thinking? Seeing a snake and calling it pretty? What's wrong with that? <laughs> Everything. When a normal woman sees a snake, she's supposed to scream or get sick or something like that. And do you think you're normal? What was that? <laughs> Nothing. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's all your fault. Jeez, I'm sorry. But enough of that. What do you mean, enough of that? This is serious. No, I... I just wanted you to tell me how it tastes. How should I know? <laughs> it was awfully pretty, though. <laughs> this is the king forever. There we go, there's the uh, green tree python. What if he talks about the noise? You just heard a horse? Yeah. <laughs> you sure it wasn't something else? I know a horse when I hear one. <laughs> Paramedic, are there any wild horses in Selino Yas? <laughs> Do you really expect me to say yes? No. So what should I do? There's only one way through that area. All you can do is move forward. Head towards the sound of that horse. It came from the north. Be careful. <laughs> Head towards the sound of the horse. Whenever you find a new weapon or piece of equipment, the first thing you do is drop it in your backpack, right? But you can't use your new goodies if they're... Yeah, yeah. You took that. That area. Okay. Trying to see if you can see the horse, with, you know, before moving into the area. It seems like it's coming from literally where this tree trunk is. There's just... To me, at the moment, I think it's just noise. You can't really see a horse there. Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. Oh snap. What's she doing here? Boss. That arm still hurt? No. What are you doing here? Uh oh. Hey, Ken. How's you doing? All right. Go home. Gru and my sons are waiting up ahead. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. I have a gun. And a knife. Boss! Are you playing some MGS1? Oh, nice. Very first sure Metal... Well, no, not the third Metal Gear, sorry, Metal Gear game. 
There's nothing for you here. <sighs> when was the last time you played it just one? Go back to your boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't America. Too loud, boss. Too loud. Oh, thanks. Nice and warm now. Was well, getting a bit that chilly. That should stir things up a bit. You'd better hurry. Uh -oh. The border Ooh. is sixty miles south of here. You ought to be able to run that far. Yeah. Why not? Why'd you defect? I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? Mm -hmm. You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't oh, survive. Oh, that's not how you spell bandana. If we meet again, I'll kill you. Now, go home. Well, I don't wanna. I like being out here on holiday. Oh, they spelled bandana on a spit with two ends. This is Snake, Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been <laughs> shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are going to come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's got to be a leak somewhere. No, oh, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians. But she'd double-cross us like this. But that's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy. Oh, sorry, Ken. Together for ten uh... years, and now you tell me she's my enemy. Enough. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? I'll probably say MGS4. No chance of winning in a battle. In terms of whatever you do, don't let them see you. In terms of like the build-up to it, because um. It was probably the first Metal Gear Solid game where I was like keeping up to date with its like its progression basically. Whereas the other Metal Gear Solid games, they just they just came out and I didn't really keep up to date with how the uh, production was going. And yeah, it just felt really like. When the first time I played Metal Gear Solid 4, I was just shaking. <laughs> Absolutely shaking. What the hell is that? That just. Okay, that's probably just some. Uh...
some fruit. We're about five a day. Can't really see him, man. You can't let go of the square lightly. Maybe it's in another in MGS2. Still can't do that sh strong. Well, he just does that like, ugh. What you want? See what the major says now. Major. Snake, the boss is your enemy. You've got to accept that reality. Adam is waiting for you at the abandoned factory to the north of your current position. Head north. I'm going to call one of these, uh... It's basically that like you, you uh, call one of these uh, coded frequencies and it plays a song. This is one of them. <laughs> that radio! Lips are moving for some reason. Is he meant to be singing? <laughs> Why does his lips move? I don't understand. It will eventually end. Good song though, good song, good song, nice bit of tune. I mean, we should do uh, face. What if Sigurd was saying anything about this mask? Ah, you're wearing the mask. I made it myself. Pretty good work, don't you think? 
A while back, they were planning to disguise someone as this one Gru officer and send them in to steal some secret documents. I created the mask for that operation. But then the mission ended up being canceled. And then the Major came and told me to throw it out. Can you believe that guy? But you didn't throw it out. <laughs> Are you kidding? Tossing a superior quality product like that into the garbage without using it will be an insult to science. So I decided to sneak it into your gear. <laughs> okay, but is it really that big of a deal? Of course it is. What's so great about it? Everything. But if I had to pick one reason, I'd have to say it's because it's the first mask ever that can blink its eyes. <laughs> what about the lips? What's that? Can it open its mouth? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Snake. <laughs> you crazy, man. I'm serious. Are you even listening to me, Snake? Where's your common sense? Damn. <laughs> Sorry. Tell me something, Sigint. What's that? What does Sigint mean, anyway? It's short for Signal Intelligence. Signal Intelligence? The part of intelligence that deals with electronic information. Things like intercepting and analyzing electronic communications, determining enemy force strength and positioning from radar emissions and radio chatter. You get the idea. Code breaking is considered part of SIGINT as well. Forty years from now, we'll be in the age of electronic warfare. It won't be long before information replaces firepower as the most valuable commodity on the battlefield. So you're saying they won't need guys like me anymore? Sorry to break it to you, but that's not gonna happen. No matter how advanced our technology gets, there's still no substitute for human beings. Anyway, the Major is a man of foresight. He knew the Electronic Age was coming, and so he called out to me. And you responded. Well, I didn't have any place else to go. You couldn't find a job? Nope. None of the places where they do this kind of high-tech research would even let me in the door. Why not? I know you've got social problems, but... Come again? <laughs> Nothing. I mean, someone with your talent ought to be able to... Yeah, well, maybe it has something to do with the fact that I'm black. Uh... The Major, though, he doesn't care about what color you are. I've never met anyone like him before. He's... different, you know? Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't think racism's gonna go away even in the 21st century. But I want to work with computers and use them to bring people closer together. In the digital world, it doesn't matter whether you're black or white, American or Russian or whatever. Everybody's going to be the same. That's what I think. What I will say is that uh, racism should never existed in the first place. Should never even existed on our planet or in any planet. Dolino Vodno. Do the same trick as did last time with the hornets. It's just him, because this is, is uh, very easy. Some more goodies down there. We got too much food, so we won't be able to put that in our. Uh, we'll leave it this time. <laughs> Since it didn't work. Let's see if we can hear him. No, can't hear him just yet. Should be an S suppressor. Wearing raindrop pattern camo, huh? Raindrop was used by Germany during World War II. Even now, it's still used a lot in Eastern Europe. It's designed to be especially inconspicuous in the rain, 
so you'll get the most out of it if you put it on during a downpour. Yeah, he's coming back. <laughs> he didn't see me. <laughs> That's funny. Let's try this on the zombie one. Snake, your face paint, it's... I know. It's called zombie. <laughs> zombie? What does that mean? <laughs> Beats me. Are you serious? Hello, paramedic. You mean you've never heard of zombies? <laughs> nope. Never. You guys don't know anything. A zombie is a dead body that's been cursed and brought back to life by a master of black magic. Supposedly, they revive the dead and use them as slaves. It's also seen as a kind of punishment. People who commit terrible crimes can be forced to labor even after they're dead. Interesting. How do you know all this stuff? <laughs> I saw it in movies. Like White Zombie. Never seen it? Uh, nope. Can't say I have. How about Plan 9 from Outer Space? No. Missed it. <laughs> you can't just focus on the things you like all the time. You have to expand your horizons, try new things. You guys need to get out more. <laughs> Yeah, well, anyway, that face paint doesn't look all that useful. Go ahead and wear it if you want, but I think you should change to... You don't need to change anything. Why not? It makes them look awesome. <laughs> doesn't it? Look, arguing about it isn't going to get us anywhere. <laughs> Snake, you do whatever you want. It does make you look cool. <laughs> You've arrived at the factory, I see. Yeah, now to meet up with this Adam guy. Good. Go to it. So, where is he? <laughs> you weren't given an exact location. How about a time? Nothing was specified. <laughs> a physical description? I'm not sure. How am I supposed to find him then? You won't need to. Huh? He'll find you. <clears throat> Why don't you try the room to the northeast where you met Sokolov? Adam might be in there. Me up. Adam is a spy sent by the KGB to infiltrate Volgin's ranks. You'll need to be extremely careful in how you approach him. Obviously. He can't let Volgin know he's meeting me. That's right. <laughs> Adam won't show up if you're being pursued by the enemy. Before you go to rendezvous with Adam, make sure you haven't been seen by the enemy. Meet up with him in normal phase. Got it? Thanks to last week's nuclear incident, the Soviet Union is now on secondary alert. We're Thanks. one step away from a nuclear war. DEFCON 2, huh? In American parlance, yes. From what Western intelligence has been able to gather, the radical elements in the Soviet command are showing signs of impatience. They say we're on the brink of World War III here. And with Khrushchev's position getting weaker every day, I worry whether he'll be able to hold them back. One week? Yes. America must eliminate the boss by its own hand to prove its innocence. There is no other way to resolve the crisis. Everything rests on your shoulders, Snake. Failure is not an option. Damn I know. Major. Yes? I was just wondering, why do they call you Zero? What do you mean? We go back a long ways, but I just realized I never asked you why you're called Zero. You want to know where it comes from? Yeah, if that's all right. That's a bit nostalgic, really. Nostalgic? Hmm, the first British intelligence outfit was established in 1909. The head of the Foreign Intelligence Division was a man named Mansfield George Smith Cumming. He was referred to simply as C after the first letter of his last name. Since then, out of respect for Cumming, the heads of the SIS have traditionally taken the name of C. And James Bond's boss is called M. That's right. I myself was once known as O. And that's where Zero comes from? Precisely. In another sense, though, it signifies a ghost, one whose true identity must remain a mystery, the primogenitor of the solo sneaking operation. Is that so? Yeah, O is because his name is David O, the Major. That's why. Ah, here's a couple box. Oh my god. Nope. There we go. Wow. 
Wow. This is just the small one. No, where the bird go? Cool, second. Uh, Snake, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm in a box. <laughs> a cardboard box? Why are you... I don't know, I was just looking at it. <laughs> Suddenly I got this irresistible urge to get inside. No, not just an urge. More than that. It was my destiny to be here, in the box. Destiny? Yeah, and then when I put it on, I suddenly got this feeling of inner peace. I can't put it into words. I feel safe, like this is where I was meant to be, <laughs> like I'd found the key to true happiness. Uh -huh. Does any of that make sense? <laughs> Not even a little. You should come inside the box, then you'll know what I mean. Man, I don't want to know what you mean. <laughs> Between you and paramedic, is everyone but me that is hooked up with the major strange? <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, I suppose even that dumbass box might make a decent disguise if you wear it inside a building. Aww, well, there is something to say about the box. Mind detector. You can't kick it. He's under the bed. No, he's not. No, I can't shoot the books. Oh, let's go and uh end with this cutscene. <sighs> he's naked and a zombie. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Cut the engine. They'll hear us. Are you the agent they sent? Are you Adam? I thought you were supposed to be a man. Adam couldn't make it. All right, say the password. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? Answer me! It's fresh. Why was he just like blind firing her? <laughs> it's terrible. There is your answer. That didn't answer anything. She's lying. Blonde bombshell. The name's Eva. Oh, slow down, baby. Did she just say something? What? She said something, didn't she? <laughs> Snake, huh? Zombie snake. Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? You ain't interested. What happened to Adam? 
Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. And you were? Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. Might wear a bra? I heard you used to be a codebreaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. Mouser military. The broom handle. Yeah, she can wear a bra. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. It's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Around here, even that's hard to come by. Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American made. Oh, here we go. Snake. It's gonna 45, go. huh? You always go and eat crap on it. Incredible. <laughs> Do you like it? The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced, and the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non-slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. And not only that, nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. And it's got customized run as well. <laughs> Where'd you get something like this? I grabbed it from a Western Munitions Armory. It probably used to belong to one of your officers, and there are more where that came from. You had this with you, didn't you? Uh, did the boss give it to her? Better take this too. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Yes. You're here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe, then? Yes. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohan. Where? At the lab. They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? <laughs> Tell me how to get to the lab. The safest way in is from the rear. First, you'll need to head north through the jungle. You'll come to a heliport used for shipping materials. Pass the heliport and continue north and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. Make your way through the warehouse and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. <laughs> and just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. Right, let's get going. Wait a minute. What now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. You'll never make it in your condition. It's a jungle out there. There's still an hour before dawn. It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect something. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it? My orders are to provide you with information. Nothing more. You look disappointed. Mm -hmm. All right, then. I'll do something special for you. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. Excuse me? 
What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. Gonna get that? She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. When you're tired or hurt, the best thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and take a nap. Doctor's orders, okay? Yeah. Wait, what? Okay. What? Be sleepy. What's she doing? Trying to get herself on the radio. She's up to noughties. <laughs> What's the matter? We're surrounded. I see four of them. Here we go again. <laughs> We've got company. It's the Ocelot unit. What? Let's get out of here. Hurry. Swear she said so. Here. here, give me a hand. Not too loud. We can use this to get to the basement. That is the basement. on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll keep them busy. Huh? Don't go dying on me now. Go in there, go. What is shooting at? Ow, how dare you? <laughs> See ya. Yeah. The hell? You shooting? 
For just target practice. I've been waiting for this moment. Him again. What does he want? That's it. That's the stance. I don't think so. What? A female spy? This bitch is wearing perfume. This what? Stay where you are. <laughs> I've had enough of your judo. Judo. I see you've got yourself a single action army. That's right. There'll be no accidents this time. You call that an accident? Well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun. I'll give you that. <laughs> But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. And you're forgetting one more very basic thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. He didn't say that. We'll see. No, oh, kick twice. Ow. That must have hurt. Ooh. That hit is nuts. That thing only carries six shots. The Makarov carries eight. <laughs> you have to get a feel for how many you have left. This is a high-class weapon. It's not meant for shooting people. Damn! <laughs> This isn't over yet. Don't. Why? He's still young. Look at him jog away. You'll regret stopping me. Damn it! I've got to get back before he does. She really had to go that high. Alright, so we'll do a few more. It looks like you've got rid of all the ocelots. Yes. Yeah. Now proceed with the rescue of Sokolov. According to Eva, you should start by going to the crevice to the north and. Can we trust her? What's that? Eva is with the KGB, isn't she? Can I really believe what she says? How do I know she won't double cross me? Hmm. There are no guarantees in espionage, Snake, only calculated guesses. At this point in time, the KGB stands nothing to gain by stabbing us in the back. So you're saying I can trust her? I'm saying the chance that she'll betray you is low. Ah. Uh. Of course, we checked the route she gave you against our own data. It looks like a pretty solid infiltration route. It makes good use of weak spots in the enemy's defenses. You shouldn't have any problems. Follow the route Eva showed you and proceed with the mission. Roger. First, enter the cave through the crevice. Eva said it was to the north, so head that way. Hey, Snake, remember back at the abandoned factory when you whittled the grip of that 45 down? Yeah. I've never heard of a customization like that before. Why the grip? To fit it with a knife. A knife? You're gonna keep the knife and the gun both at the ready? That's the idea. Why would you want to do that? Sometimes a knife works better in close proximity encounters. So I equip both at the same time. That way I can switch back and forth in an instant. Badass. So that's that. CQC. <laughs> when you get shot, you'll sometimes suffer a gunshot wound. Oh my god. The chance of suffering is... Okay. 
But this is going to be it for now. I will do some more maybe tomorrow in the afternoon. Uh, save it first. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, listen to. Saving the game, Snake. How many talking about some films? Snake, do you know the creature from the Black Lagoon? Nope, never heard of it. These scientists are investigating a place deep in the Amazon called the Black Lagoon, and they get picked off one after the other by this fishman thing. And there was this scene when the heroine is going for a swim, and the creature sneaks up on her from underwater. Oh, I thought my heart was going to stop. I mean, of course, the, the 3D effects in It Came From Outer Space were a lot more intense, but... It wouldn't be referring to you coming from outer space, would it? How rude! <laughs> Why do you say that? Because no one on Earth could be as charming as you. <laughs> Fine. I'll just get to the point, Snake. Be careful of what's around you when you're in the water. Just imagining you swimming in those jungle rivers makes me think of you being attacked by a fish man. I appreciate the concern. <laughs> Fishmen aren't the only things that'll attack you in the water. Really be careful out there. Okay. And don't be attacking any pretty girls going for a swim, either. Are you calling me a fish man? <laughs> you started it. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll be back soon. See you in a bit.